Hi, so I will be doing some more uh, programming videos, so um, in this video I'm going to show you random walk. Um, I, so the, the reason why I do this is because I can generate um, um, sequences of random walks which remains the same when I go back so you see this one here it's the same and so um, it's actually quite advanced because I need to clean everything up I need to take care of, of the threading and all of that and so while I move here there is one thread that calculates the random walks and then another one that paints it and so on and I'm beginning to work with a with a zoom also, so I can zoom in. But it's at this time it doesn't work excellent this zoom. But you see, I can scroll in and scroll out. Um, so what what can this be used for? Well, I'm thinking to use it in. Um, infinite generation of a form of landscape or textures um, which generate while you move you know there is really no there is nothing stored here because everything is algorithm it's just an algorithm which is calculating everything as we move here and um, and so I use a kind of pseudo randomness to do this and uh, let me just have to make it stop here now so it, it can move infinitely um, uh, let's see I'll, I'll show you something here okay so I do this with uh, this algorithm I, I, I calculate so this is a XOR shift I use that too to calculate random values uh, or it's it's like it's not real randomness and that's why I'm able to like depending on on the pixel or depending on its read like uh, center po position of the random walk the, the start position of the random walk will decide its um, appearance you could say and um, uh, but as you can understand this kind of technology that I'm doing here is very uh, usable because <clears throat> it can be used for you know this this can become uh, um, every, every pixel can be uh, a reference for a point where there should be a mountain or a forest or or um, a house you know and by using this kind of cl clustering um, uh, you can you can open up for a lot of possibilities to do something in the infinite space you know I this is this is infinite this this never ends this, this calculation that's that's been done and yeah, as I said, it never ends, but it's always the same, you know, when we get, it's it's like, it's a bit like fractals, but I use um, a, f a sort of random walk, pseudo randomness, it's like fake, fake randomness, and it is, um, yeah, so, what should I show you, maybe, random walk, so here, here, here is my algorithm, al algorithm for the random walk. I use something called uh, Cantor pairing to calculate the um, what uh, a position in space in, in x y coordinates, what it means as. Uh, a key like it it must become unique so x y coordinates becomes something unique when they um, 
go together and this becomes a seed for the randomness also so uh, where do I show that so inside this you see it, it it has the x and y coordinates and size for determining the the seed of this shift this uh, random XOR shift that I'm doing and this is the key to everything uh, to, to have a good kind of randomness which is not random but but still I mean it is it is deterministic this is this is absolutely deterministic this there is no so it's like fake randomness it's it, it's mathematics it's always the same it, it and that's why you know we go back here it's the same every time we go back here it's the same to this space yeah here yeah so yeah uh, and there is a lot of potential for this kind of technology that, that, that I'm creating um, as I said it's a very easy a very easy way to create um, landscapes and I can simply change a variable a bit oh I don't know if this will work will it be visible if I press yeah okay it pops up again um, so if I change a variable let's see um, so if I change um, I make it bigger this um, or let's see what what should I do um, I can make it more rare and bigger like that so if, if we run now let's see if this works yeah it's a bit different shape wait did I build it oh I have to say uh, let's build so wait run yeah so now nothing is visible oh it's only this one right so to be able to to find something of a certain texture so maybe you can imagine that this is a mountain and it's only at this place and so it will only be so if we combine many of these sorts i can make mountains that sometimes pop up but not that often and when they pop up they are bigger like this right and uh, so this is the idea with this uh, and it is as I said it's that it's absolutely deterministic uh, it's the way I coded it so that it's the same on all operating systems and nothing is is in the memory you know everything is is calculated as I move on, on the screen everything is calculated as I move yeah yeah so that's my I'm doing some programming here with this a random walk and yeah you know I'm thinking what's what's the potential for this you could make kind of evolutionary you can make evolution here and something can grow from the evolution and as it grows it, it it becomes it fluently enters a bigger state of bigger things you know it can be very fluent how something grows and this can basically never end and it can become bigger things popping up here as I zoom out um, yeah So yeah, that's a little program that I'm doing. Um, yeah, and it's thanks to this, you know, if you would have used normal normal randomness, you cannot really be sure that it's the same for every system. So that's why I'm using this counter pairing um, with. <laughs> Uh, or a random source shift and I also need um, you need this special you need this this type right 
because this is the only one that doesn't change in uh, different operating system or different systems hardware so um, yeah and right now this is being rendered on the processor this is not being this is not rendered on on the graphics so I'm not even sure that I will render this on the graphics card I think it's it will um, I will make this this uh, chunks um, much smaller like another scale and then everything will be quick I think and so simply use images and, and um, draw images in squares and so you have this oh it's hard to explain but I have this this idea about how to do this anyhow um, and so yeah so this is what is what is it maybe uh, 10,000 lines you know so that's why it's not absolutely smooth as I as I move here well but uh, yeah okay so that's that's what I'm doing right now on, on my uh, yeah uh, so just wanted to show so see you see you guys another time bye bye